Hi everybody, it's Silver. I decided to do a live stream of the builder's box. Hi everybody, unboxing. it's Silver. I decided so, this is what I'm going to do. So I hope everyone enjoys and you guys can chit chat and see what you guys like and everything. Sorry, I'm like a little bit nervous because I haven't done this in like a bit of time. But yeah, let's let's get started. I have already unboxed all of my items. You just simply wear the builder's box HUD. And this is the new HUD design, which I really like. And they even have advertisers that scroll through. You can click each brand individually to get your pack. Or you can click right here to get all the contents and then unpack them. I've already unboxed everything. So I'm going to start it. And order. First I'm going to do Seprentina, the Coronation. So let's see what this looks like. And let me probably turn on my, oops, no that's right, turn on my advanced lighting. So we can actually see if stuff has materials or not. Because I usually run it without. Let's see. This has a skybox with 264 land packed or 497. For right now, I'm going to do res out the 264 and let's take a look. As Will pimps out my channel, apparently, in the Villers Box group. Thanks, Will. Okay, let's let everything res in. I think everything is res. I think we need the cam in. Oh wow. Look at this. Oh my gosh. I love this. Once it finally textures everything. I love these windows. Look at the detail of this. It looks so nice. They did a great job. I believe this is the side project of the owners of um, Anxiety. I've like I've loved quite a few of their backdrops, but th this is amazing. Look at the texture on the floor; it's so nice. This is this is really nice. Let's see what the ceiling looks like. It looks really nice. It's a lot of detail. even from on the doors and everything. This is really, really nice. I love, I am loving this so far. <laughs> Hi, Builders Box channel who's ro watching me live. Hi, everyone else who's watching live who isn't commenting or anything right now. I, I love this skybox. This is gonna be so fun for um, pictures and whatnot. Because you can easily like just put down an altar right here. You can have a dark gothic wedding, or you can have a church sacrifice for Halloween. There, the possibilities of this build are really endless. I I love this. Oh, I have to derez it because I don't have enough um prims to keep everything rest out but that was the first item I'm like I if that's what's to expect I, I'm ready next is consignment they made a dead bed in one two three four five different colors I'm gonna res each one of them out so there's black brown gray khaki and then white and let's take a look Oh, I love the pillows. I wonder if they're different for every color. No. Basically different colors of are, are of the wicker. But that looks really nice. And look at like the wrinkle details. It's really nice. So let's choose one that's not. Let's see what poses are in here. There's single cuddles and adult poses. I'll just go through the single poses. Right now I'm sprawl, this is lounge, this is bashful, 
This is belly lay. If I turn off my AO, maybe it'll work. Okay, there we go. Belly lay with kicking of feet. This one is lazy. Kind of curled up. And there's corner sit. There's cute. There's tucked up. There's Ferris, fetal, napping, laid back, reflect, Brunner. I suck at pronunciation, so I'm sorry. There's sleepy, there's QT. Another pa okay, and then there's relaxing and cozied. I think I'm just gonna keep this rest out and I'm gonna keep it on um, lounge. So let's move this down and around, move myself over to the corner. And this is from consignment. I really like these. I think I might actually res out the black one downstairs in my house, or actually this brown one. So I really like it. It's really nice. So come on. There we go. Delete all of these. Next, we have Marek Annabelle's belongings. There's an Annabelle's cabinet, chair, and paintings. So let's do cabinet, chair, and the paintings. Oh, I like that. It's broke. Oh, it even has cobwebs. I like this. This is perfect for designing your haunted house or make your house a little bit more haunted. I, I love this. This is really nice. I really like the um, cobweb texture on this. Let's look at the broken cabinet. Wow, look at that. Okay, question to the viewers. Is there a place that like does mesh spiders? Has Jin done any? Because you could easily like throw, like minimize a few, shrink them down in the edit menu and throw them in here to make it even a bit more creepy than it already is. I love this. And then there's broken paintings. Like that. And even a hat. These are really, really nice. Um, the land impact is three on the paintings, six on the cabinet, and five on the chair. And for consignment, because I forgot to do that earlier, the land impact is five. I really like, this is cool. I think I'm gonna keep out the paintings for right now. And this is from Rack. And move these back and over. Next up, we have Schultz Brothers, Church of the Damned. Read me, it takes five seconds, I swear. Okay. Okay, there's a, f apparently there's a wood pile for fire in here. Land impact is 30. Dimensions are seven by 11. Invisible prim. Okay, let's rest this out and let's see what it looks like. Oh wow. Let's look up at the tower. <laughs> I just got a message from the anxiety owner. Um this is this is really nice. Let's look at the I think this is supposed to be like a bell tower or a broken down one. The detail of the bro boarded up, it's really nice. Let's go down and look at the first window. 
it seems to be tinted like a dark amber. And here's the outside, whoops, front of the church. Oh wow, you can see through the door and then you can like do a cam shot of like camming in. Look at that, that is so cool. If you get the right camera angle, that would be an interesting picture. If I could figure out how to do that correctly, that that is really cool. Okay. Ooh, creaky sound of the door. Let's go in. This would have been perfect for the um, Ironwoods Haunted game that's going on right now. Like, look at this. Easily, like, throw up a coffin or a dead body. Res out some blood. Church pews. I love the details, even across on the back of the pews. This is really nice in the candles. Look at that glow. That is so cool. It really just kind of sets the mood. Oh my gosh, there's an axe in the door on the other side. This really is the Church of the Damned. I, wow, this is really cool. And then the cross with a whole bunch of daggers. This, this is a really <laughs> nice build. I feel like I'm going to end up falling in love with every single build in this box. And as it said in note card, it's 30 land pack. This is really good for setting up a scene if you're like me, you don't have a lot of prims to use or if you need to like use less than 400 for a big scene. This is perfect. This is from Schultz Brothers. I, I love this. I can't even decide like what my favorite is at the moment. It's it, right now. It's between them and um, anxiety. I I love it. Next we have Acorn Weathered Outdoor Lamp Set. Apparently it comes all linked together, so I'm just gonna link it out together or res it out all linked. I'll take a look at each. Oh look at those. I wonder if the light turns on. Oh, it, oh, look at that. Look at the materials on the... Oh, look at that. That is so cool. I'm like a material whore right now since I've gotten my better laptop because I can finally do it Lance Lighting and see everything I've been missing. Look at that. And you turn off again. You could like, you could really see the difference when you have materials on you turn on this light. Like, and it even reflects onto the other one that's like not even on yet. Let's turn all three on and see what it looks like. That would be cool and like put a road up to the church from Schultz Brothers. Like a dirt path road and put a lamp at the end and then you go into a church and like maybe an abandoned car or whatnot. I'm like have all these ideas. It, this is really nice. The land impact of the lamp is six. And this is from Acorn. This is really nice. I'm going to keep one of these rest out. Whoops, almost deleted my photo deck. <laughs> and that's why you lock your platform so you don't accidentally delete stuff because I constantly do all the time. Curious of how this light glow goes to my avatar, like how far it goes. It's pretty far. It's really nice. Oops. Next we have Dahlia Conjure Collection. There's a lot of stuff. There's a crystal ball, candles, striped herbs, belladonna, cumin, roses, Black energy ball, crystals, and raven, raven feather bottle. So let's start resing these out and taking a look. It's candle, herbs, more herbs, more herbs, energy ball, another energy ball. Crystals. Oh, 
and shelf. Ooh, I like that shelf. Triangle elements, awesome. Okay, let's look at the crystal ball. This is really, this is cute. Oh, I love, look at that, it's two-tone, like right here, you see it's green and then it's purplish on the other side. And it kind of goes with your camera. And if you look into it, it looks like there's like a building, or building's reflection within it. That's super cool. Land impact of this is one for the crystal ball. Here are our herbs smoking. The land impact of each is just one. I wonder if you could turn, nope, you can't turn off the smoking effect, but that's really cool. There's the raven feather bottle. Again, with reflections a bit. Like there's a build reflecting within the bottle. Let's look at the energy balls. These are really, really liking the texture on this a lot. Now let's take a look at the crystals. These are, ooh. These are really, really nice. And then let's take a look at the candle. I almost wish there was a red candle as well. That would have been really cool. I'm curious if these have materials, so I'm going to mess with my wind light real quick. Just as, like my default testing one is Anna Adore Cozy Interior, because you can like move it. Yeah, there's there's definitely materials. So if you like do a picture of this with advanced lighting, I would definitely recommend like throwing up a um, light source ball and like maybe lowering the impact so you still get the darkness that you want for your scene, but you can like really see the materials of these items. Really, really liking these. And this was from Dahlia. I'm going to keep out the crystal ball. I'm really liking it. And maybe the candle. I didn't mean to do that. Oh well. We're just keeping out the crystal ball. <laughs> Let's move that over here. Close to our broken down paintings. Alrighty. <coughs> Excuse me. Next we have granola. Ophelia dining set. Let's see. There's a whole, okay, there's a, I think there's one, a scene that's completely put together of all the items of the candlesticks, short and tall, dining chairs, and table. Ooh, look at that. I like that. I really like the, um, how she was able to get the twisted iron metal look of for the mesh. That's really good. Really liking this. Guys, this box is amazing so far. Can we turn off candles if we touch? Nope. Candles stay on. The shadows these chairs are going to give if they're like close to a wall, it's going to be so cool. Like look at the detail. It's really, really nice. Alright, the land impact of a chair is three, the table is two, the candlestick short is three, and the candlestick tall is three. Okay, let's move this over. I think I keep this rest out. So over and put it right here. And this was from Granola. Next we have Crasswork Black Magic. 
Okay, there's a linked one with gold. There's spell candle, spell little candle, purple candle, rolling papers, table, tapestry, black, blue, gold, and violet. Let's res out the all linked ones and take a look. I'm not a fan of gold. I think everyone knows that by now. So I'm going to res out other colors. Oh, there it is. Oh wow, that's really bright. Well, look at the detail. Look at the dust particles. Oh, that's so cool. And the candles. Nope, can't turn off if you click. Big candle. Can't turn off if you click. Look at the table detail. This is really nice. Okay, let's look at the other items also. The black spell candles by themselves have a land impact of four. The little spell, ah, okay, this is the particles. This has a land impact, okay, I can't see it because it's half transparent. Okay, it's a land impact of one. Purple candle, ooh, look at that. Wow, look at the wax detail. Look at that. That's cool. Even not even got the flow of like how the candle burned down and collect wax at the bottom. I really like that. Candle has a land impact of two. Rolling papers have a land impact of one. I'm trying to see if I actually read anything. I think that says couture. Maybe I might be wrong. <laughs> Okay, the spell table by itself has a land impact of two. Oh, look! There's even more detail that was covered by a th the linked one. I already had the items. I like this. Okay, let's look at the other tapestry colors. There's black, there's blue. Gold's already out, and then there's violet. Ooh, I love this black one. Kind of reminds me a little bit of outer space. I'm a sucker for a good teal or cyan. Let's look at the detail of the poles. Really like that. So that's the black. Here's the blue. And then here's the purple. Ooh, I really like the purple too. And individually the tapestries are a land impact of one. And then the whole linked together one with gold has a land impact of 10. I'm pretty sure you can probably unlink and get rid of the curtain and replace it with a curtain color that you would want. That's really, these are really nice. And I think you can also resize the starburst. Let's see. Yep, you can. So you can make it, you can have small ones and you can have big ones like she had had out for the um, linked together set. And this is all from Crasswork. This is really nice. I'm gonna leave out the gold all together, linked together one. I didn't mean to grab everything. <laughs> there you go. Okay, that was craft work. Next, we have Raindale Darkmoor set. Oh, it comes with a HUD. Okay, there are Darkmoor books, candles, small and tall, daybed, lamp, one, three different lamps. There's a link together. Res set for 19 land impact. There's a spirit board, table, and tarot cards. Let's res out the one that's kind of put together for you for a scene. Let's see what it looks like. 
Ooh. Digging the shine. This is lamp number one, and it has a lamp impact of one. Oh, yep. And you touch it, and it does come on even more. This is lamp number three, of also land impact of one. And then this is lamp number two. Look at the detail. I love that there's three different sizes that you could choose from. Let's take a look at this day bed. I, I love this, it's really nice. All the items are so nice. I wonder what the theme's gonna be for um December box. I think it's coming out later in that. I might be wrong. Don't don't quote me on that. Candles. Okay, these candles turn off if you click on them. This has a land impact of five. I think this is a candle. And then the books, the rest of this is kind of linked together, but tarot cards. Let's take a look. Those. Really love the detail on that. And let's look at the spirit board. Oh, wow. Nope, it doesn't do anything if you click it. And this table. I really like this. And this is from Ringdale. It's really nice. It's going to be a really, really, really cool scene, guys. Okay. I think I'm running out of room, so I can't keep all this out. Uh, I'll, keep a I'll keep the smaller lamp out. Covering, covered by st with stuff out everywhere in front of me with all these lights. <laughs> okay, next we have Refuge. Leimana set? I can't pronounce anything. I am sorry. Okay, there's a vanity, vanity mirror, stool, black, pink, purple, red, and white. Okay, let's see the vanity. Let's see the vanity mirror. And stools and black, pink, purple, red, and white. And I think I need to turn this mirror around. Yep. Transparent back. Okay, let's look at the mirror first. Ooh, I like that. It's almost a little bit see-through. That means you could put this in front of your avatar for like a reflection picture. Take a picture, see how well your avatar shows up, and then do your normal picture. And then Photoshop it in. That would like look really, really nice. Next, let's take a look at the vanity. Ooh, look at that. It almost looks more like a desk to me. I, you could also use this as a desk, I feel like. I really like the design on that. And then we have all the stools. This is pink. And there's purple, red, white, and black. Black looks a little more like a chocolate brown to me, but that's just me personally. I like my blacks, like super dark black. Maybe more like a charcoal. Maybe I'm wrong. It's more like a charcoal, like a charcoal dark brown, dark gray. gray. Okay, land impact of the stools are one, the mirror is one, and the vanity is 14 land impact. Are there sits in here? keep out a pink one. Keep out the pink. And 
and this is from Refuge. If it will delete. Oh no. Okay, there it goes. Let's move this back over. Vital lamp. in front of the stool. And now I put it there, I feel like this is also like, it, I know it's a stool, but I feel like it could also be used as like a table. Like with the size, like a nice side table or something. Uh, okay, next we have Varanus. It's a skybox. I'm not going to attempt to pronounce it. I don't know how much land impact. I hope we have enough room. Let's res it out and take a look. Well, that's big. Let's move that back a little bit. Let's move that to about right there. And just let it finish texturing. I think you're supposed to go in from the other side. So I'm going to cam over the other side and then go through this back wall. Oh wow, look at this. It's not even finished texturing yet. I think I can already see it. I really I'm already loving the door detail and the archway detail. Look at that. Once it finished just resin, I love this brick texture. Because I've been playing The Sims 4 recently and it's reminding me of one of The Sims 4 like wall textures. It's almost really close to it. This is what it's reminding me of. The floor texture. I think I'm lagging. Okay, there we go. Wow, it's like a parlor kind of. Two different little annexes here with candles. Candles don't turn off if you touch them. Faded old mirror scratches. Oh, you can easily put a couch right here or like a coffin. Oh, you can like make this into like a makeshift, like little funeral home. Because, like, all the people in town have basically keep getting killed off, so they have to do, like, two funerals at a time. And you can, like, set up pews right here. I know, I'm, I'm, I'm really dark right now, sorry. <laughs> I really like this a lot. I wish I wouldn't lag so much. Let's look at the ceiling. Ooh, look at those beams. Okay, look, I really appreciate the little details like look the metal I don't even know what it's supposed to be called but it's like helping with the support of the beams like I love that oh I wish I wasn't lagging all of a sudden Oh, there's lamps up here. Are there lamps on the other side? I didn't even look up. I'll go look up in a minute. On that side. Oh, okay. So you can turn the lamps on or off, but it's really more about the outer glow of what hits the walls. For this build. I think the windows are finally all completely resed in, so we can finally take a look at the finer details. Look at that. Even the floor texturing. <laughs> I, 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 I've loved everything in this box so far. The land impact of this build is 225. And yes, there's lamps on the other side. They're like basically identical rooms. 
this is really nice and again of like amber kind of brown tinted windows sort of doors and this is from Varos or however you pronounce it I'm sorry I butcher names like on a daily basis okay and we're to our last item CNC Sanderson rest CNC I don't remember who CNC is I think it's something in cauldron I have to like put on my hood real quick and double check. Pharaohs. Yeah, it's it's this logo. Uh, I can't remember the full name of the of the people. Okay, let's just res it out and let's see what it takes. What it looks like. Candle and cauldron, thank you, thank you, Builder's Box. <laughs> Ooh, if this res is all the way. Oh, this is a turbine wheel of power. Okay, let's let's do it so it's face forward, and let's move it back a little bit. Smoke coming out of the chimney. I think everything is res. Oh, now everything's really resing in. Oh my god, I see the cauldron right there. I just want to call it the leaky cauldron like in Harry Potter. That's like all I want to do right now. I just want to call it leaky cauldron. This is so cool. It's like a nice rustic build. If they... Okay, I can already see from this. This would be almost perfect for winter time too. For like if you want like, kind of like more rustic kind of slightly run down winter if they did a snow roof for, for this build that would be amazing okay let's look at the stained glass details there's a cauldron there's the phases of the moon wow I really like that I'm really loving the stained glass details more phases of the moon nice little pattern I'm doing all the outside details first. Oh, look at the candle window. That is so cool. Now I'm curious to know if like this creator actually has made stained glass in real life because the way they've done this, it looks really, really good. And it reminds me of this stained glass duck nightlight that like my surrogate grandmother made for me when I was like six months old. I still have it too. I'm never giving it up. I don't use it, but I'm not going to give it up. Turbine with the water detail. That's really cool. Let's look around. Oh, yep, there's a back door. This is perfect for, like, terrained land a little bit to get more of a mountainy feel. Okay, let's finally go look inside since I'm, like, rambling away. There's a downstairs and upstairs. Little kind of indoor deck area. Wow, I love this fireplace. It's like really rustic, like how it was built like with rock and mud or foundation concrete. Let's see, does the fireplace turn on? It gives me a click. Let's see. It lets me click, but I don't think there's fire. Oh, that makes me sad. I wish there was fire on that. There's cut up logs. Oh wow, they it's like a made cubby hole for it. For the logs. Almost looks like water damaged walls. Whoops, didn't mean to do that, sorry. And then there's upstairs, so let's go upstairs. Looks like there's rooms. Oh, Ooh, creaky door. Ceiling. This could be. This really could be like a leaky culture and make downstairs kind of a bar area. 
And then, like, you have two rooms upstairs that you can rent, or the owner just lives upstairs. Okay, here's the other room. A little bit different in size. Ooh, I like that de detail. This really does look like really nicely done water damage. Like, that's what that looks like for me. I keep forgetting to like look at my comments. <laughs> okay, Builder's Box says that the fire does... Oh, okay. Fire does come on. We have light, everyone. Ooh, look at the... Okay, look at the detail of the embers. I, I want to know how they are able to... And it's moving. Oh, I want to know how they did that. That is so cool. Look at that. And it gives a whole bunch of light out to the room. Just make sure you have advanced lighting on or you might not see it how I'm seeing it. This is really cool. And I think even the people who do pictures on Black Dragon, like I've started to do a bit, you're going to see even more detail with the lighting and materials on everything that we've looked at. So this is Candle and Cauldron. This build has a land impact of 76. And those are, that's all 12 of the items for this round of Builder's Box. I'm scrolling through the comments real quick because I'm finally tabbing out. <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. Hi, Cassie. Hi, Thea. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Builder's Box. I think that's everybody. Is there anything anyone wants me to res out again so you can take another look at it real quick? Because I really don't mind doing that at all. You're welcome. I enjoyed doing this. I might just do Builder's Box unboxings because I, 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 I've been struggling for content and I've had stuff going on within the last year like with health issues and then other real life issues and I kind of miss vlogging but I don't miss the editing in Premium Pro because that takes forever and since I haven't touched in a year round now it like I'm really rusty with it so I'm waiting to see if anyone says anything if they want to, me to re-res out anything and while you guys are deciding that, I'm re resing out the... I'm going to keep calling anxiety. I know it's not anxiety, but it's the owners from anxiety, like their side project. I just can't pronounce anything, but I want to look at it again. Because it looks really nice. <laughs> and it was the very first thing that we looked at. Because now that I've seen everything, I can like... Kind of... figure out a scene for this. Because if you guys are looking for free items that might go of some of these releases today, Ironwood Hills is having um, their game and hunt right now, Haunt It. And there's a lot of really cool stuff to get. Like my favorite thing is the um, hand from Clove, and then the makeup from um, Clem that were a part of the prize once you completed the game. The game's actually pretty fun. I had a whole bunch of issues with the HUD <laughs> and whatnot. Like nothing was working for me, but some poor soul helped me out in um, their group chat and fed me the next clue. And apparently going to that next clue finally made my HUD start working. But it's a pretty fun game. Just be aware there's a lot of lag there and I still had a lot of lag and I'll, I took off all my HUDs and I was wearing a full body shopping alpha like the old days of when I used to go to arcade back in the day but yeah this I really I love all the builds I don't know how I'm gonna try to figure out pictures for all of these because I'm like I am not the best 
at photography, especially of like builds, but like look, even look at just the sun coming through the windows and how it's hitting the wall, and you see the difference right here between that and that. I think for the Varos build, I think the Crassworks set would look work work really well with that one. This one, I'm not sure. I almost want to put in the um, I think it's granola. This is granola, right? Yeah, the granola dining set have a haunted dinner just kind of on a platform in a church. Like a dinner, bef the dinner before the sacrifice of the night. I don't know. Like I said, I'm sorry, guys. I'm a little bit dark. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, I'm going to stop rambling and I hope that everyone ends up having a great day. Thanks for hanging out with me and I'm glad that everyone enjoyed the box. I'm going to have a lot of fun trying to put things together. Thank you guys so much. Have a great day. Bye.